Let's read on. Look, look, look at the advantage you have in troubling times to experience supernatural peace. Look at verse 18. Jesus says, I will not leave you as orphans. I have adopted you and you are mine. Look at this, semicolon. I will come to you. Do you feel abandoned? Do you feel overlooked? You feel marginalized? You feel undervalued? You feel like you're spouse and you've grown distant, you feel like you haven't heard from your son who went off to college, you're starting to get worried and you're wondering, God, are you faithful? God, are you true? God, are you there? Look at this promise. He says, I will come to you. I am not a negligent father. I am not far from you. I'm on the inside of you. I will come to you time and time and time and time again. I am faithful. I am true. I do not change. So I'm here to tell somebody who's going through the fight of their life or the storm of a lifetime and you got questions and you got concerns and you got stress and you got anxiety and you got fear and you're going, God, where are you? I want to remind you, we have a promise that he is faithful, he is true, and he will never leave you nor forsake you. I will come to you. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Yet a little while and the world will see me no more. But you will see me. Listen to that. The world's not going to see him because he's not, no longer in his physical, visible form. But we will still see him because now he's in his spirit form. And the spirit within us will show us Jesus. He says, in the day you will know that I am in my Father and you in me and I in you. Whoever has, here it is again, whoever has my commandments and keeps them, it is he who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by the Father. And I will love him and manifest myself to him. I will manifest myself to him. Jesus, the Holy Spirit, Spirit of Jesus is your counselor, which is to say the primary role of the Spirit of Jesus is to show you Jesus. The Spirit wants to do one thing the most on the inside of you. He yearns to show you Jesus. That's his passion, for he is Jesus. And I'm telling you, I'm just going to give you a little, a little tool a little, a little key, when you open this book, look for Jesus. It's my favorite, it's like a treasure hunt. It's my favorite thing to do, is to open this book and say, now, 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 Spirit of Jesus, show me Jesus. I'm telling you, he'll show you Jesus in the book of Lamentations. Don't look for principles merely. Don't look for just a good story merely. Don't look for success keys merely. Look for Jesus, and this book will come alive to you. Spirit, Spirit of Jesus, sh show me Jesus in this verse. Show me Jesus. In a verse, like if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. Jesus is in there. That's when you go, wait a minute, I can't love you and I can't keep, 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 my, keep your commandments. And that's where Jesus goes, I know, that's what I do. <laughs> Through you, for you, help you. And there he is. Telling you when we get together, it's gotta be more about Jesus than ourselves. We read this book, it's got to be more about Jesus than ourselves. The strength and power, fortitude, strength and peace is not in ourselves, it's in Jesus. It's in Jesus. What does the counselor do? He manifests to you Jesus. Notice what it says going all the way down. It says, verse 26, the helper, the counselor, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things. He's a counselor. And bring to your remembrance all that I have said. 